Can you explain to you the new Kraken 2.0 is your yeah. is its technical name right now? <laughs> Sorry, well, you can call it whatever you want. We we'll make it. We'll have a nice name soon. But um, right now, the uh, today we announced uh, eight new attractions and experiences coming here to SeaWorld Orlando, um, uh, all in 2017. Because we opened our big Mako coaster this year, so next year we're going to focus on all the other experiences that we have within the park. And of course, Mako is going to be here as well. But most importantly, everyone's really interested in this guy. Uh, we're going to relaunch Kraken as a new ride experience with a digital reality overlay. And we're developing our own system that will actually install and integrate into the ride itself. You won't be carrying this on the ride. You won't be handed it in a queue line. It'll actually be fully integrated into the ride. So you sit down, you open the pouch, and you simply put it on, or you don't. You have a choice. But if you do put it on, it's completely mechanically tethered to the ride experience as a loose article. It's receiving its data and its power from the ride system as well, so we can perfectly synchronize the 3D stereoscopic content and the audio that's going to be with the ride all to the ride movement based on what seat you're sitting in. So it's perfectly synchronized. Um, and again, most importantly, guests will have a choice. Participate or don't. It's your choice. You'll get to decide yourself once you sit down and put on the headset or don't put on the headset. Outside of Kraken, with the new digital overlay, we have seven other new experiences coming, including two brand new events, food, uh, the Seven Seas Food Festival, and our brand new Electric Ocean Summer Night event, where the park will transform into a bioluminescent wonderland that guests will get to explore with a brand new fireworks finale that you've never seen this large from the SeaWorld Orlando Park, and that's all summer long. Food, uh, the Seven Seas Food Festival is in spring. We also have new experiences coming for Christmas, a new flame craft craft beer bar on the lakeside, which is going to be beautiful for drinking craft beers, and our dolphin nursery is getting a whole new look and a whole new experience so that you can better bond with moms and their calves as they make these special relationships, and we take the walls down and we install acrylic and we get our guests closer and closer to these amazing animals. It's all in 2017, and, and we also did a big announcement this morning with brand new attractions coming to every SeaWorld and every Busch Gardens in 2017. So a lot of news for the company this morning, right here in Central Florida. It's all about the great things coming to SeaWorld Orlando and Aquatica.